one of the least safe mines in Appalachia, Kerwood Mine was already barely holding together before the resource crisis, and the increasing coal demand due to the Sino-American War did it no favors. Miners were working around the clock to tear the black gold from the Appalachian Mountains, trying to make a living before they were inevitably replaced by robots or killed in the aftermath of Atomic Mining Service's experimental underground nuclear tests meant to accelerate production. Foreman Sam Bailey started his job just as the situation was getting worse, in August 2077. He quickly found an issue with boss Roy Kerwood, who was immune from firing because of his uncle's connections within Atomic Mining Services. Kerwood leveraged his standing to embezzle funds intended for miners, leave keys in random places and other issues. The foreman's repeated attempts to get him removed consistently floundered on the rocks of nepotism. Ever thankful for simply having a job in the economy, by September he was gripped by a fear that the mine would be his death. By October 17th, the premonition proved to be quite accurate. AMS's nuclear detonations caused a quake in the mine, collapsing half the tunnels of the mine simultaneously, together with the main mine shaft killing 17 miners instantly and trapping another 32 deep in the mine after the lower network was flooded. The radioactive contamination made any rescue attempt impossible, and neither Bailey nor the structural engineer knew how to attempt a rescue. Breaking through the locker room into the old shaft did not help either, as it also flooded. No rescue was made and the miners died, alone and abandoned. After the Great War, Bailey holed up in the mine with nowhere else to go. He had some supplies, a bottle of whiskey and constant company from what seemed to be screams coming from deeper in the mine. 